Good morning. So today we'll be discussing about uh, one of the simple, basic concepts of one of the chapter, okay, that is redox reaction, as you already got the information about the chapter. So it is a simple topic and uh, very easy also at the same time, okay, you, oh, the weightage, if you ask, then uh, maximum two questions. So one of the uh, frequently asked question, how many questions you're having for today's class. I always used to get this question. So let me tell you, I have 35 questions today. And it is a, since a simple topic will uh, finish within time. Okay, we'll complete within time. That is my assurance. I'm not going to extend today's session. If something really happens from your side, that is, uh, I doubt to clear it or something like that. If it is more than it may extend for 15 minutes or so, but not more than that. Yes. <clears throat> so hope you can see here redox reactions. Okay. So you have a picture here on front of your screen, I suppose. Right? A green apple. Now, if you observe, uh, when you cut the apple, right, after a few minutes, its color changes. It turns into somewhat brown. Right? This is a very good example for the oxidation, atmospheric oxidation. Yes, good, Tanya. Now, we are going to anyway discuss about this. Uh, actually, this chapter is a basis for your electrochemistry. So later part of this chapter, that is electrode processes, uh, oxidation reduction based on that. I haven't uh, discussed, um, I haven't included here that since it is uh, done in electrochemistry, what is oxidation, what is reduction, what is electrode potential, standard electrode potential, those things I have not touched because already done, I suppose. Fine, yes. Anyway, if you require, then uh, definitely we'll be discussing about that as well. Hope my voice is audible. Yes, good. Good, done. Now, okay, coming here. So redox reactions are the chemical reactions which involve both oxidation as well as reduction simultaneously. So they go hand by hand, we say, okay? Once there is a reduction, there's supposed to be oxidation unless it is a half reaction. Is it okay? Half cell reaction, what we call. Otherwise, when two chemical species are involved, and if you say the first one has undergone oxidation, then the other has to undergo reduction. They are complementary to each other, these reactions, red reduction and oxidation. Fine. Now, the redox reactions are two types. Now, direct redox reaction, let us see what are these, and indirect redox reactions. Fine. The direct redox reactions, it is the one in which oxidation as well as reduction are carried out simultaneously. So as we said, they go side by side or hand by hand, whatever it is, simultaneous. So those are said to be direct oxidation reaction. Having said that, if you carry out the uh, reduction and oxidation separately, that is in two different half cells. So it is the one in which oxidation as well as reduction is carried out separately into separate half cells. But we won't call them as a complete reaction unless we combine. This is another another possibility or option where we can carry out these two processes separately. But to make a complete reaction, you have to combine. As a result, oxidation reduction takes place simultaneously. We say, is that fine? Yes. Uh, moving ahead. When chemical reactions are carried out, then some of the species may lose electron, as you have seen in the first slide, isn't it? Here, the process. Oxidation we defined, right? Compound A, this I'm talking about, loses electron so that, right, it get oxidized, we say. Whenever a substance or a compound lose electron, right, number of electrons are going to be less, so that will get a positive charge. Similarly, right, if it loses electron, we say it has undergone oxidation, so that will act as a reducing agent. Similarly, converse is for reduction. Compound B gains electron. So this lost electron here will be gained by the, gained by the 
B. So oxidizing agent it will act as and it is going to get reduced. Whenever reduction takes place, you know, it's um, oxidation number is going to decrease. Okay, so what are, what are the different charges? We'll, okay, observing that later. So in detail when we last. Is that fine? Yes. So let us move ahead to the next part. Yes. So here we were, it is the one in which oxidation reduction carried out separately. So when you carry out oxidation reduction separately, it is nothing but the indirect redox reaction. Okay. When chemical reactions are carried out, then some of the species, okay, this was, we were, we were discussing, right? Electrons, some other may gain electrons. This is about to happen. The lost electron cannot be thrown into space, you see. Yes. So the concept of electron transfer can easily explain the redox reaction in the case of ionic substances because we have ionic compounds or ions are going to get formed, either positive ion or the negative ion. So oxidation reduction can be explained very easily in the case of ionic compounds. But the problem is with the covalent compounds. So however, for covalent compounds, we use the term oxidation number to explain the oxidation reduction. So this is the actual significance of oxidation number. Covalent compounds galli namige oxidation with reduction no find out maadli ke charge illa da karana agu dilla. Otherwise oxidation andri electrons lost. Tavaga in barbek plus charge barbek electron kadi meadre. Electron tagon re negative charge barbek. So ionic compound andli plus with negative charge nodi namige heldi kaak chude. But what about in covalent compound? So there where charge is not there you see. Therefore we introduce the term called oxidation number. Yes, hope you guys are listening. Good, good. Not clear? Why is this not clear? Payment? Yes. So, might be the uh, network issue. Okay, so please look into that. Yes. Makla, each chapter is going to these two questions. Deal with it. Okay. Yes, I'm louder. Uh, on these two questions and 35 questions select redox reaction. I'm very sure that those types of questions sickle. Okay, so this is my assurance. Yes. Now and then when the last time that I'm gonna give a doubt sit there and contact number cut the WhatsApp number cut it there. So Kalor message my material there. So hope you are working on that. And the others, uh, if you require any help in chemistry, any of the chapter about the material or any doubt related to that, so please you can ask. No issue. Okay, fine. Now wait, is not already held in a virish. Maximum error questions, but at the end, okay, fine. I can display the number. Okay, so. This is it. Please take down those who didn't took that time. Nine four eight two eight two two eight double zero. Okay, so contact through this. Any doubts related to whatever the concepts I have dealt and any chapter in chemistry, right? Thirty chapters you are having out of which four deleted. Uh, no issue. Okay, yeah, all the way. Kedo need to get deleted. Don't to unta dusa. So care about them. Fine. <clears throat> so let me continue. A co oxidation number term we use for covalent compounds. Done. Moving ahead, the oxidation process. What is oxidation process? So there are many ways by which you can define oxidation, isn't it? Bere bere tara you define madvo do. Adrali nami giga beka giron ta do ando. Ye nado is a process in which electrons are lost. So we call this process as D electronation. D means removal, as you know. Okay. So zinc loses the electron, right, to get converted into Zn2 plus. So I have written here the uh, charge. Okay. You can you can write those electrons on the right hand side as well. Then it will get the plus sign. So here instead of writing minus two electron, you can write here plus two electron. Both are same. Fine. Yes. Next, iron also does the same thing. So it loses electron. So we call this as a Fe3 plus ion, one electron here. So one 
charge is going to get increased positive charge i'm talking about so it is fe3 plus right so all these are all these are oxidation processes so easy to remember this rule please okay make a note of it leo gear rule what do you mean by that loss of electron is oxidation gain of electron is reduction okay so abbreviation or short form in short you can remember the processes in this way okay times it requires fine now reduction it is a process in which electrons are gained so electronation and this is deelectronation now copper gets two electrons to get reduced into copper metal and similarly chlorine molecule takes two electron one electron per atom so that chloride ions are formed so these are nothing but the nothing but the oxidation and reduction processes done next oxidizing agent so if a substance undergoes oxidation right it is a reducing agent andre adra converse reciprocal agi nenpi idkondre aitu athava inverse alva ಒಂದು ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಉಂಟು ಒಂದು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದರದ್ದು ಬಿಹೇವಿಯರ್ ಏನು ಅದು ಏನಾಗಿ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಯಾವುದು ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ರೈಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಅ ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಎನಿ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೆಪೇಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಅ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಸ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನದರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ okay oxidant or oxidizing agent right one and the same next during any redox reaction the oxidizing agent itself undergoes reduction this was this is what we were discussing about isn't it so if if oxidizing agent or term we use then it's supposed to undergo reduction if we use reducing agent it's supposed to undergo oxidation or the reverse if it is a reduction reaction or a substance is undergoing reduction that must act as oxidizing agent sorry all yes good uh, in bringing about the process of oxidation deelectronation the oxidizing agent itself gets electronated so oxidizing agent and reno electron thagoluvantadu right oxidation and the loss of electron that will act as a reducing agent you know it right good similarly the reducing agent ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗಿದೆ ಇದು ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಓಕೆ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ಎನಿ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೆಪೇಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಇಸ್ ಕೆಪೇಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಲೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಲೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಗೈನ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗೈನ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ the reducing agent itself undergo oxidation s uh in bringing about the process of reduction that is electronation the reducing agent itself gets deelectronated correct no karthik s good oxidation number so what is this oxidation number it is a residual charge which an atom appears to have when other atoms are withdrawn so imagine you are having a compound okay uh, for example i can take the compound sulfur dioxide so what is oxidation of sulfur so it is a charge on sulfur when attached to oxygen atoms are sort of removed right so when you remove those two oxygen atoms what charge sulfur can get that is called as its oxidation number so here is a definition residual charge which an atom appears to have right when the other atoms are removed okay uh from the molecules as ions by counting the electrons with more electronegative atoms in terms of oxidation number oxidation is a process where oxidation number gets increased so you say there is oxidation in any chemical reaction when there is a increase in oxidation number and similarly you say there is a reduction which is being taking place during a reaction when its oxidation number got a decrease reduced so decreased and it should be noted that okay let us make a note of it 
oxidation number is never equal to the actual charge on the atom except in ionic substances ionic substances are complete transfer of electron is the isn't it but in covalent compound right that is not true so oxidation number is never equal to the actual charge in the atom so exception is being ionic substances in addition it is not the same as valency okay uh, many times oxidation number and valency they have those terms differ right valency is number of valence electron how many electrons are participating in bonding process that is covalency so oxidation number can be thought of equal to the covalency, not valency, right? Valence is how many electrons are present in the valence shell. Having said that, it is not required that all the electrons which are present in the valence shell to be donated. Is it required? No, right? Normally, it's to both, but either than a right? You can compare like that. Are you getting is out of the covalency is charge no it's a transfer of electron we cannot call it as actual charge so when the atom decides to share electron covalence the sharing complete transfer but you take the on the way bonded atom and no you have a charge barbo don't tell you guess model the new then imagine model the state well, imagine other money the lactose in the la process at the ionic matra with the name you should you should be noted that oxidation number is never equal to the actual charge actual charge agu the avaga agu the avaga ionic component the matra because their complete transfer of electron takes place here it is a sharing of electron which is being taking place so if you once if you remove if you thought of removing atom then what charge it could have that is oxidation number okay done so uh, same as valence of the helio, it may be positive. This is very important statement. Okay, negative oxidation number may be positive because if it loses electron, positive. Negative if it gains electron atom, then it is a negative. It could be zero. We'll be observing now the rules. Okay, in the next coming slides, then a whole number could be a whole number or it could be a fraction as well. Just like in kinetics, you studied about the studied about the order negative order positive order right you can compare this similarly here oxidation number also yes so oxidation number being fraction sattvic we have a compound fraction value which is that fe 0.95 times oxygen this is an example where oxidation number is a fraction Okay, how to calculate it? We have a problem. Okay, later uh, to be solved. The example for fractional ox oxidation number. Here. Clear, no? Or you can take the example of sodium uh, thiosulfate. Uh, I have those examples in coming slides. Uh, miscellaneous or fractional or unorthodox uh, oxidation numbers. In the number to the now, the node other few more examples. But this is enough now, as of now. Okay. Uh, if you have a compound, you can use the hydrides, hydrogen chapter, hydrides, right? Uh, covalent hydrides, ionic hydrides, interstitial delivery. Yes, it is in the one. So when you connect the things from different chapters of a particular chapter, then uh, you can memorize and chemistry becomes easy in that case. So rules for determination. So actually, each chapter ni mige nenpid be kado do on the oxidation reduction the yenu nteli next to be be rules go tera be. This is very important. And some uh, the unusual oxidation state compounds. That's enough. Under types of redox reactions, you need to remember only only disproportionation reaction. It is to go tera ni mige each chapter done. Okay, so let us come to that. Rules for determination or determining oxidation number. What are the rules to be remembered? Yes, primarily oxidation number for elements in their elementary state or gases in their elementary state is zero. What do you mean by that? Whatever the atom you take, if it is in its elementary state, sodium, any right elementary state, what is the oxidation state of it? Zero. Are you getting? How the elementary chlorine elementary state? You know, Di molecule exists, by molecule, right? Molecule exists, either oxidation state is to zero. 
am i right n2 oxidation state is zero so whatever the element which exist in its native state or in its elementary state the oxidation number is considered to be zero this is the first and the basic rule okay next for hydrogen here important for hydrogen oxidation number is always plus one okay oxidation number is always plus one and having said that some exceptions are put what is that ionic hydrides where it is minus one what do you mean by ionic hydride remember alkali and alkaline earth metals when present along with the hydrogen then then those are ionic hydrides and there the electropositive nature of those metals are being more than hydrogen hydrogen has to get no negative oxidation state hope my sentences are clear to you you can understand what i'm telling if not okay please ask so somebody is telling to repeat this so what did i say here for hydrogen okay it is always plus one because hydrogen is electropositive element therefore we place that above the alkali metal group correct all no iga ili en helta idare except ionic hydrates ionic hydrates and then sodium hydride nah calcium hydride cah2 so these are said to be ionic hydride why because these are all electropositive elements alwa correct alwa iga in front of or uh, among these compounds now which one has to be more positive or which one has to undergo oxidation reduction hagidre new ಏನ್ ಎಸ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಇಂದ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಯಾವಾಗ ಆಲ್ಕಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆಲ್ಕಲಿನ ಅರ್ತ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಗಳೊಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಕಂಬೈನ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ದಿ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಸಿಯಂ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಡಿಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಹೇಮಂತ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ snehadi now yes for hydrogen with the group 1 and 2 it is negative okay good now uh, if you take p block elements where all the elements are non metals or most of them at least exception case iru bodu metal bismuthi gela bandaga but ಯಾವಾಗ ಅದು ನಾನ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ನೋಟಿಗೆ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಕಂಬೈನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಅಂತ ಒಬ್ರು ಕೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ನಾನ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಎಸ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಇದು ಸೊ ನಾನ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ನೋಟಿಗೆ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಕಂಬೈನ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಕೋವಲೆಂಟ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೈಡ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಇಂದು ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಕ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಅಯೋನಿಕ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೈಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಕಮ್ across the different oxidation state for for your oxygen that is one with of2 okay uh, compound of oxygen with the fluorine do you remember there fluorine is more electronegative oxygen is the second highest electronegative fluorine is the first one so as a result fluorine is not going to give electron it always prefers to take electron as a result fluorine gets negative oxidation state now oxygen right by i mean no other way for oxygen except yes losing electron so oxygen gets plus oxygen um plus oxidation state whereas fluorine gets minus only in the presence of fluorine this you have to remember oxygen oxidation state plus agodu yavudrotige fluorine otige matra so of2 it has a plus to oxidation state these are all exception and important as well okay please do remember yes next in peroxides 
ಓಕೆ ಪೆರಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಇಂದು ಪೆರಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಪೆರಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಒಡಿ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಪೆರಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿ ಪೆರಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಓ ಟು ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಪೆರಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಬೆನ್ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಪೆರಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಪೆರಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ನಾವ್ ವೆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಒ ಎಫ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ವೆರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಇನ್ನು ಪೆರಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ alkali metals yes block elements you might be studied in that it comes alwa superoxide yavdu sodium nottiga adre normal lithium normal oxide sodium peroxide form agutte then potassium rubidium cesium these are three compounds to be remember or three elements to be remembered for the superoxide formation correct so potassium superoxide superoxide alli oxygen hegirutade o2 minus so two oxygen atoms will have minus one charge so per atom how much it is oxidation number is always per atom per atom how much it is minus half so potassium anyway it is k plus i'm just explaining you how superoxide is formed so what is the compound k o2 this is said to be potassium superoxide so potassium superoxide alli oxidation state of oxygen is minus minus half so somebody asked earlier what is that fractional oxidation number example super peroxide could both right it is o2f to oxidation number of oxygen is to calculate their o2f to list on tell you calculate madodu gottilla dirudani x anta gododu right oxygen gottilla you take it as 2x o2f2 this is 2x this is minus 2 right equal to 0 so 2x equal to plus 2 that implies x equal to plus 1 that's it is that fine yes so now this is about the different concepts of the oxidation state done so plus 1 varabodu plus 2 positive oxidation state varudu fluorine ottige matra oxygen age matte ella negative oxidation state ittide alli exception case age oxide peroxide superoxide and then pit kolbe done tools for continuing okay rules for determination of oxidation number ige bandre uh, for fluorine it is minus 1 there is no other exception in the case of fluorine fluorine alli yavude exceptions illa adike minus 1 yake it is the highest electronegative element so that is the reason okay highest electro negative element so you don't have any other option except for minus 1 yes. next for alkali metals is already told hydrogen ginta hechu electro positive ad karana alli alkali metal got plus 1 oxidation state and for alkali earth metal it is plus 2 next oxidation state of a molecule is the algebraic sum of the oxidation numbers of all the elements present in the molecule it is zero for neutral molecules that how we used to calculate oxidation number even in coordination compounds can you think of it isn't it coordination compound yavade thagolli nee en martira adu equal to zero ge right one example kodidre just to remind you k4 fe cn6 potassium ferrocyanate common name thagondi idana oxidation calculate maadi the oxidation state of iron if you want to calculate then what do you do you will write 4 into 1 right because potassium alkali metal you know its oxidation number plus 1 so write it as a plus 1 so 4 next iron we don't know so let it be x cyanide we know it is right plus 6 times the minus 1 for cyanide and you are equating this to zero so x equal to plus 2 on tell ferrous state that's what dealt in this particular sentence next in polyatomic ions or complex ions the algebraic sum of the oxidation number of all atoms is equal to net charge on the ion this is also true so one example if i want to take here phosphate if you write po4 3 minus how to calculate the oxidation state of phosphorus phosphorus we don't know so let it be x then oxygen 
4 into per atom minus 2 normal oxide or with the non metal you see there so it is equal to net charge 3 minus or minus 3 right so minus 3 you write am i right so it is minus 3 now x equal to so plus 8 minus 3 plus 5 all right so phosphorus is in plus 5 state okay ipc name of k4 sahana you studied coordination in that you might be knowing it potassium first positive ion to be written first always so you write potassium okay then give a space these are all very important rules for nomenclature or in the naming of coordination components next in one way complex ion of the ion with the sign into sign and six times into so six one taxon of the hexa right hexa one space supposed to give okay hexa then cyanido because cyanide in the no organic alcohol you do see and minus again but coordination one daga it has to end with oh you know that at or o so negative ligands hexa cyanido then iron now it's a negative part so it has to be named as ferrate okay its oxidation state is two so in a roman numeral so potassium hexa cyanido ferrate two is the iupc name of the example which i have given done what did no yes good next disproportionation reaction so coming to the types of redox reaction, we have got four types. K4, that is just to balance the number. You need not write tetra potassium into very little. The rules are them go to the either the compound kelidre potassium K plus ions four times, right? Plus Fe Cn six four minus. In all the negative charge and balance, my leg now the actual allergy of the potassium. So, coordination spear in the Horage Banda than new only a prefix use my very little try it at tranthed only what comes within this square bracket. You have to use a multiplicative prefix like hexa, penta, or try to try, etc. Got it? Smile, Rishan, Rishan is smile. Okay, good. So moving towards the next one. Okay, I was talking about the uh, different types of redox reaction. Please remember there is a combination reaction, four types. Okay, combination reaction first, then there is a decomposition reaction. Combination you have the water formation could work. Other carbon dioxide form carbon plus oxygen giving carbon dioxide. This is a redox reaction and it is it is combination. Okay. Next, decomposition reaction, water decomposes to give hydrogen and oxygen. That is also decomposition redox reaction. Eridite. Next, third one, displacement reaction. So, other mm -hmm. type of displacement. One is said to be a metal displacement reaction. The other one is non-metal displacement reaction. You can understand by the name or heading of the types itself. right? Metal displacement, one metal will displace the other metal. And also, this is a redox reaction. For the non-metal displacement, you can understand. Isn't it? So these are the three types and not so much of importance to be given for the competitive except for the board. Okay. Here, disproportionation is very important. Kelter, out of the following, the disproportionation reaction is. So how to identify disproportionation? Here it is a, a few important points on that. So one and the same substance disproportionation proportionation reaction. So one and the same substance may act simultaneously as an oxidizing agent you understand that sentence okay one and the same substance that itself right uh, simultaneously will undergo oxidation and reduction next what do you mean by that it itself will act as oxidizing agent as well as reducing agent as a result, a part of it gets oxidized to a higher state and rest of it get reduced to a lower state of oxidation. So one may one day substance in oxidation number increase at the other time will next to decrease at the and then simultaneously at the then you compare my the kelonsal and also give you more today, right? Hey, sudden nagina goes on my lady start models. Just 
ನೀವು ಯಾವ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಹಾಗೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನೀವೇ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಪಾರಿಸನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗಿವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನೇಷನ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಫ್ಯೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಫ್ರಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಅನಾಯ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀಮ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಮನೇಲಿ ಮಾಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ನೀವು ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಜೊತೆ ರೈಟ್ ಒಮ್ಮೆಲೆ ತಾಯಿ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಗಲಾಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಮಾಧಾನ ಆಗೋದು ಸೊ ಈ ತರ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನೇಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸೈಮಲ್ಟೇನಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನೇಷನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಸಡನ್ ಅದೇ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಓಕೆ ಡನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಯಂಗರ್ ಸಪ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ಹೀಗೆ ತಂಗಿ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ತಮ್ಮನೊಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ತಮ್ಮನೊಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಸಡನ್ ಟೆಂಪರ್ ಒಮ್ಮೆ ಏರಿ ಗಲಾಟೆ ಹೊಡಿಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋದಾಗ ಹೋಗುದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಕೂಲ್ ಆಗುದು ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಈ ತರ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೆಯುದು ಗುಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಹೇಮಂತ್ ನಾವು ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸ್ಡ್ ಟು ಹೈಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಲೋವರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಸೆಡ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಸಿ ದಿ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಸೈಮಲ್ಟೇನಿಯಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೇಟರ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೊ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಪೆರಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಉಂಟು ಸೊ ಇದು ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ಗೂ ಹೋಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಹೋಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ನೀವು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಹಿ ಪೆರಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂತ ಹಾಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೆದಿದೆ ರೈಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇದ್ದು ಏನಾಯ್ತು ವಾಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗುವಾಗ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಆಯ್ತು ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇದ್ದು ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಆಗುದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದ್ದಲ್ಲ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆದದ್ದು ಸೊ ಗಾಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಎಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಉಂಟು ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಸೊ ಬೋತ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸೈಮಲ್ಟೇನಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ದಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನೇಷನ್ ಫೈನ್ ಎಸ್ ಹೋಪ್ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಉಂಟು ನಿಮಗೆ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಓಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲದಿದ್ರು ಸಹ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಗುಡ್ ಗುಡ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಉಂಟು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಎಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾಸ್ಫರಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಜೀರೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ನಾವು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಫಾಸ್ಫರಸ್ ಯಾವತ್ತು ಟೆಟ್ರಾಮರ್ ಆಗಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗುದು ಪಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ಎಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ಬೇಕು ನಿಮಗೆ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜನ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಡೈಮರ್ ಆಗಿ ರೈಟ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಟಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಡೈ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಟೆಟ್ರಾ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಾ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾಸ್ಫರಸ್ ಇಂದ ನೋಡಿ ನೀವು ಜೀರೋ ಉಂಟು ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅದು ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಫಾಸ್ಪೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಫಾಸ್ಪೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಪಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ you supposed to come across this reaction okay phosphine minus 3 aitu and
Will the oxidation number given above the elements during the exam? No, they won't be giving Chaitra. Okay, oxidation number won't be given. So with the help of these rules which you studied now, you should be able to identify the oxidation number. Our Kurdila. Minus two, of course. Okay. Uh, when we identify the disproportionate reaction, the question will be asked out of the following or among the following, which one is disproportionation reaction? So what are we supposed to do? We have to see the reactant and the product and central atom you have to identify and whether it has undergone oxidation reduction together you have to see simultaneously. Then it's a disproportionation. Yes. So here a few important note, okay, points. Make a note of this. Note and note mark. Okay. Uh, will there be any clue to find the or question to find the oxidation state? Of course, there will be definitely. Okay, oxidation state. Now there are more examples solved or clear agathan with the definite time. Okay. So and I already held them. This is a simple and easy concept. Don't worry about it. By the end of this session, you'll be very thorough in this finding out oxidation number and all. Example not on Godagat. Okay. So for any oxo acids, this is very important. Okay. The one in which the central atom bound to oxygen is in the highest oxidation state is the strongest acid. Very, very, very important. Yes, touch face word now. Please do ask. Oxo acid series, if you consider, then you can actually identify the strongest oxidizing agent and least or weakest oxidizing agent in that case. How? It is purely based on the oxidation number. Whenever the central element is in its highest oxidation state, that is said to be strongest oxidizing agent. I don't know whether you can get in one once if I define it. Okay. So, whenever an element is in its highest oxidation state, can take down this whenever an element is in its highest okay oxidation state that implies strongest strongest oxidizing agent why it is so highest oxidation state alidaga Further, it cannot undergo oxidation. Do you agree? In the KMNO4, potassium paramanganate, I'll take one example. The oxidation state of manganese is plus seven. Do we have oxidation state for manganese more than seven? No. Am I right? So it cannot further undergo oxidation, you see. So if at all, if it reacts, then it has to come down in terms of its oxidation state. Its oxidation state should be decreased. So decrease in oxidation state is said to be reduction. Hope you guys are able to follow. One the element other highest oxidation state further oxidation is not possible. So further only reduction is possible. So if it undergoes reduction, it should be oxidizing agent. So it is said to be strongest oxidizing agent or strongest acid. Strongest acid, yeah, the strongest oxidizing agent in the kilter. Nivian Madveku, a central element in okay, central element in thank you others, central element in oxidation number find out Madi, are the highest tag element again, I the further oxidation Sadilla. So it has to be strongest oxidizing agent. I have a few examples here. Please look into this. Okay, HNO3, you are having nitric acid, nitrous acid, you see, okay, which is HNO2. Now, there is a mistake. Okay, then Sarima Dogan now. You know, HNO3 oxidation state of nitro, then he can calculate Matira hydrogen plus one. Right? Plus one. Next, nitrogen, we don't know. Let it be X. Oxygen three into minus two, minus six. So it is exactly minus two oxygen, somebody told. That is true. So plus one. Right? Yes. Bunch of answers I'm getting very good. So oxidation state is plus five, right? Total. This implies oxidation state of nitrogen in HNO3 is plus five. Do you agree? So this is plus five, which I have already marked there. Good. 
here it is next that of hno2 so nitrous acid we say it comes in your sandmeyer's reaction i'm having the habit of connecting everything whatever comes ide concept nam vere chapter alli bandre nam adanna connect maadi kalthre untalla marthu hogudilla anta helodu nanna bala vada namike adike nanu avaga connect maartta idane nitrous acid namge bandi sandmeyer's reaction alli right highly unstable it has to be prepared in situ halo alkenes we studied right yes so iga ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಗೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇರ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಟೂ ಇಂಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ಎಚ್ ಎನ್ ಓ ಟು ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಈಗ ವಿ ಅಮೌಂಗ್ ಎಚ್ ಎನ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಚ್ ಎನ್ ಓ ಟು ವಿಚ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಎನ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ವೈ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೀನ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ so that's what i wanted to tell you in the first sentence so whenever here an element is in its highest oxidation state it is a strongest oxidizing agent or acid hope now it is clear similarly you observe h2so4 and hs h2so3 sulfuric acid and sulfurous acid so sulfuric acid plus 6 aagutade idralli estu plus 4 illi baruthide right plus 4 and plus 6 so that is the reason why we say h2so4 is the strongest acid or it is the strongest oxidizing agent good next so arsenious acid and arsenic acid that is also same thing once i told now you observe this this was asked two three times in different complete examination dear students e order nu thumba sala kelidare oxo acids of halogen that is chlorine okay even in p block elements also this comes second pu p block element group 17 alli bandide idu ಓಕೆ ಬ್ರೋಮಿನ್ ಇಂದ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಯೋಡಿನ್ ಇಂದ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಯೋಡೋ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಸೊ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಪರ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೈಪೋ ನೋ ಕ್ಲೋರಸ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಹೈಪೋ ಕ್ಲೋರಸ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಸೊ ಹೈಪೋ ಕ್ಲೋರಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿಕ್ ಪರ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿಕ್ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಆಕ್ಸೋ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಲ್ಫ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಈಗ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದು ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದಾ ಎಸ್ i expect answers from you sir quickly exactly satvik right avani very good very good vinay excellent diksha yes so why it is so because in hypochlorous acid you have oxidation number as chlorine plus 1 whereas in perchloric acid you have oxidation number as plus 7 very good anu good so illi plus 5 aitu right next plus 3 nodi alli oxidation number jaasti adage adre acidic strength jaasti aagta hogide very good very good arsenic exactly sharan in the previous example arsenic uh, coming to the next redox in a redox reaction oxidation number of oxidant decreases while that of re- reductant increases this is quite obvious sari in one sentence illi bardu bidtene idu important nimage whenever an element is in its highest oxidation state oxidation state we said it is the strongest strongest oxidizing agent hagadre reverse adre whenever an element is in its lowest oxidation state can you tell me then reverse of it isn't it whenever an element is in its exactly right good others reducing agent it is the strongest reducing agent one example h2s hydrogen sulfide okay we'll make a point of it or note of it whenever whenever an element and element is in its is okay that we'll change that sentence okay is please along with me you can take down the point work is in its least oxidation state or lowest oxidation state that implies strongest strongest reducing agent or weakest oxidizing agent good h2s oxidation state of sulfur is exactly minus 2 so minus 2 ginta kadime oxidation state sulfur ge exist agudilla so further it cannot undergo reduction it has to be oxidized so it is a reducing agent so a one concept and then pick code so no need to buy hard na anything here is that okay is that okay good next hagidre inon third statement barle bek whenever an element is in its intermediate oxidation state highest to alla lowest to alla avaga 
Good. It can act as both oxidizing and reducing agent. Kiltare. Which among the following can act as oxidizing agent as well as reducing agent? What is your method? Very good, others. Very good. What is your method supposed to be? Find the oxidation number and see the least and highest oxidation state for that element. If it is in between, then that is it. Doubt here both highest and least oxidation state. Hey, go tax and tell the valence in order. Just right combining capacity valence valence electrons to the nodi other than eight ugly case is to add more big nodi other than yellow and take the rest of the nodi that is the highest and least that's it on the example to go to the nitrogen and very thinly on the name goes car okay uh hey if i not more than the range and highest not the least on nitrogen nitrogen atomic number seven as you know so electron configuration is one is two two is two two p two p three three yellow ega second shell ali Second shell, valence shell, right? Is the electron on to five, right? So highest oxidation state in the other. Highest oxidation state in the other. This is the electron in the other. So plus five. Eight. Next, octet angle is the electron extra, right? No, three electron. Because five it is, when you give three electrons, eight it will be in the valence. Second shell will be eight. It's sort of three electrons. So when you supply or when you give three electron, whenever you donate positive, whenever you accept it, it's a negative, isn't it? Taking loan from the bank. Right? Negative. So minus three. So yeah. So mine plus five to minus three is a range. So Minus three is the least oxidation state of nitrogen. Plus five is the highest oxidation state. And three. So, this is the predict of the element. Good. So, whenever, whenever an element is in intermediate oxidation state, intermediate oxidation state for an element, for an element implies both. Right? Oxidizing agent plus reducing agent. Important point or conclusion. Clear and then call the to marry just to clear item. Yes, shall we go ahead? Good. Thank you. Fractional oxidation state. on the Nalak slider synopsis part After that, we'll take a break and then we'll come back and we'll sit for the question and see. Okay. Plus one is intermediate exactly. Plus one ne agvikila minus three in the plus five wala gade yaudu bandro the intermediate oxidation state. Yes, fractional oxidation state. These are the exceptions. Idrale ne mige question baro the next naan hai thoru sun to next slides and mele questions you can expect the most. Okay, hagen thele previous le baro the lan thala bande the. Now, fractional oxidation states. If you observe, uh, a number of elements also. Has a fractional oxidation state. Example, superoxide. This already I dealt. Potassium superoxide, cesium superoxide. Adilla alkali metals in the kodi dare. The oxidation state of alkali metal is plus one, and oxidation state of oxygen is minus half. That we have seen. Now here are few. There are I mean here there are few examples. Carbon suboxide we call. Okay, formula is written here, and oxidation state also I have made a note, isn't it? Now central carbon atom you observe oxidation state is zero because it is attached to its own atoms so there is no electronegativity difference electronegativity difference bandre namige oxidation state the covalent compound right so you electronegative difference illa ad adradde same atom nottige agide bond so oxidation state is zero done E carbon atom plus two one yake one zero illinda right hand side adradde atom untu but left hand side you have Oxygen atom. So it will have oxidation state. Yes. Next. Next. Moving on to the. Moving on to the. Uh, tri bromo octoxide. The node in even with the oxidation state. Hey, calculate more than Yes. I'm speaking. Is it audible now? Sanjana. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, tribromo octoxide. So, bromine and oxygen linkage. Uh, keep it in mind that the valency of halogen 7, 
and it combines with oxygen to form octate structure. Therefore, eight valence has to be given here. You just observe, okay, the bond formation, oxygen, bromine, uh, again, two, four, six, and one here, seven. So it's actually, it's, it's valency, fine. Now, uh, how to calculate oxidation state here? Plus six, how did you get that? How did you get that? Minus two from oxygen, minus two from other, and minus two from here, totally minus six. So bromine, bromine, because of this bromine atom zero, isn't it? Oxidation state. So because it's own atom. So minus six into, so X minus six equal to zero, X equal to plus six. So we have written here above the bromine atom plus six. From the other side also, same thing is applicable, right? Whereas the central bromine atom, if you observe only minus two from top oxygen atom and minus two from the bottom. So plus four, X equal to plus four because other two atoms are its own. Right. As a result, the oxidation number zero. Hope that is clear once again. Okay. So these are pure NCRT concepts. These three examples. I have a few more. Okay. From our application based questions. Okay. Now the next one is you are having here disodium. Okay. Sodium tetra thionate. Sodium tetra. Thio stands for sulfur. Four sulfur atoms are there. Therefore, tetra. Okay, thio. So, sodium tetra thionate ion. This is asked to three times in Kerala CET, APMT, or the Maharashtra CET, etc., etc., exams. So, you have the structure which must be remembered, or you need to remember the structure. In particular, is tetra thionate again. Not only sulfur, new octate configuration in mind a little bit more than that. Just okay, sulfur is there. Four sulfur atoms are required. In mind, we carry two sulfur and we multiply link mind. Then, so these two sulfur atoms have same oxidation state. Can you see this? Can you see this? Yes. Two sulfur atom are having same electronic nature. Your oxidation number is nothing but how many other atoms or what is the nature of the other atoms to which. It, the particular atom got attached. At the electronic environment, no new value with the So, sulfur nasu, the year to sulfur atom, no paka the little the other day atoms, other current either do zero today. Okay, so oxidation number of central two sulfur atoms is zero. Next, the other two sulfur atoms electronic environment same. How did you say that? Because the left hand side and right hand side sulfur atom attached to three oxygen atoms, right? Here also three oxygen atom. So electronic environment, same for the other two. So you find out the oxidation state of other two. How to find it out? It's very simple, right? We know normal oxygen atom. So minus two, right here, minus two. Here also minus two. And it's already minus one, they said. So minus two, minus two, minus one, plus five, eight, right? X minus five equal to zero, X equal to plus five, eight. In the same thing minus two minus two and here it's minus one so plus five so two sulfur atoms have in sodium tetra thionate what is the name sodium okay tetra tetra thionate okay in this two sulfur atom that is star i'll write okay two star sulfur atom zero oxidation state next to two sulfur atom have plus five oxidation state important asked one okay some noteworthy points yes this is the one again asked a few times number of times in your know, different competitive examination oxidation state of chromium right pentoxide CrO5, which is a, have you studied this in D-block elements, important? Okay, previous slide is here. Sariyala? Maybe then Kaltiviramakla, previous, I mean D-block Kaltirbu, next one, chromium pentoxide. Exactly, butterfly structure, very good. Okay. 
now uh, looking into this compound CrO5. Okay, butterfly starts the compound. New normal method apply my oxidation state find out my Chromium X in there today, right? Good till I'm gonna X plus five oxygen atoms and normal oxide. If you think then minus two, that is equal to zero. So you will get X equal to plus five, right? Into two, how much? Plus 10, which is unacceptable. Why? Chromium in electronic configuration, but then go that valence shell only chromium less electron into D block element. It is right D5 system. Then one more. See, 18 is a organ gas structure, then 24 atomic number. Totally available electrons are six. Maximum oxidation state of chromium can be six. But here we are getting it as 10. So then something is wrong with us, isn't it? So our calculation. So as a result you have to go for structural determination or structure elucidation we call. So here, uh, chromium is attached to five oxygen atoms in a different pattern or in a different way. One is your normal oxygen bond. So double bond oxygen, so minus two. The others, exactly, you are having minus one, minus one, minus one and minus one because it's a peroxide linkage. You know, peroxide linkage in the oxygen to oxygen single bond rather than peroxide linkage in the career. Okay, so you have minus four and minus two minus six. X minus six equal to zero, X equal to plus six. So this is it. Please remember some chemistry about the CRO5. In other CRO5 is obtained. It is a blue color compound and it is obtained by the reaction of potassium dichromate with hydrogen peroxide H2O2, CrO5 is formed, which is deep blue color compound and it fades away. Its color goes off okay, on prolonged standing. Then hage bitre, CrO5, the blue color, the fade act the the colorless act. Yake the colorless agudun the kedarame. Yake colorless agudun because of the formation of Cr3 plus. Okay, so CrO5 turns, I mean, its color turns into colorless due to, due to, CR3 plus. Is that okay? And then I do repeat on the kill there is CRO5 is deep blue color compound and its color fades away. Color goes off if you allow this to stand as it is. Okay. So why this color is disappearing? Because CRO5 slowly changes into CR3 plus. There are plus six state ali the delay, plus three state over the current color hopes then thing. Oh, Ananya. No, Ananya. Right? Ananya. Got it? No? Done. Exactly. Breakage of uh, peroxide bond. You're right, Satchi. Next, here. Okay, Caro's acid. Please remember. None of them purposefully name and include my P block elements. Caro's acid and Renunta. What is the oxidation state of sulfur in caro's acid in the kilter? Okay. Unless you know what is caro's acid, it is not possible to right, deduce it. So caro's acid is nothing but per monosulfuric acid. Per stands for peroxy linkage. Mon under one day, go to the sulfuric acid. So write the structure of sulfuric acid. What is the structure of sulfuric acid? H2SO4. Right? One oxygen extra. So H2SO4. H2SO5 are right. So here is the structure. Sulfuric acid the structure go to Nimigi. Tetrad structure go to Nimigi. So I think one the oxygen is extra hack is right. That's all. So here OH, right? Two oxygen atoms and one peroxide linkage. So peroxy mono sulfuric acid H2SO5. Okay. Now remember the oxidation state calculation, oxidation number of sulfur here should be made as follows. So two hydrogen atom because of that plus one here, I'll write here plus one and plus one, right? Then sulfur, we don't know, assume it. So let it be X. Then oxygen, these two double bond oxygen will contribute minus two and minus two. Then for peroxide linkage, already we studied minus one and minus one, right? So what you'll get here, X equal to, or X minus two, minus four, minus six. Am I right? 
one more oxygen is there here minus 2 so minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 6 and minus 8 so these minus 1 minus 1 will cancel with the plus 1 and plus 1 so remaining x minus 6 equal to 0 x equal to plus 6 is that fine okay its shape is asked sahana what is the shape of sulfuric acid that itself so double bond o double bond o oh and OH. This is your sulfuric acid, H2SO4, tetrahedral structure. Now, what about this structure? One extra oxygen. That's all. So, O bardu, matiriki OH. This is a shape, tetrahedral structure. Hope it's clear. Important. Taros acid. Next. Oxidation number of sulfur in peroxy disulfuric acid. Okay, peroxy disulfuric acid. So again, one peroxide linkage is there, right? The structure H2S2O8. So as such, if you go for the calculation, you'll get oxidation number as plus six. None other than mentioned mind then. Okay, usual method if you adopt. Now, this cannot be possible as sulfur cannot have the oxidation number greater than six because its valence electrons are six itself. So how come? The extra electrons, isn't it? So the sadhi lanthe layto. So you know structural problem under the note bag. There is a difference in structure. So what is the structure? One peroxide linkage you have between two sulfuric acid molecules. So this we write as x here also x. Then minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two. Normal oxygen minus two and minus two here plus one and plus one. Now you calculate two x. It's done calculation down right just look into that Alwa. hydrogen in the game minus uh, plus two the put here it is right then sulfur two sulfur atoms are there are you listening yes good 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 so very good you have uh sulfur where we need to find out the oxidation state so two into x and oxygen, there are six atoms with normal oxide linkage. So you have minus two into six and peroxide two minus two. So you'll get the oxidation number as plus six. Yes. So this is about the peroxy disulfuric acid. In the earlier one, peroxy monosulfuric acid, caros acid. Now, what is this called? Another name for this. We call this as, I'm not mentioned there. Please take down Marshall's acid. Marshall's acid, please make a note of this. Al history could take it. The P block will bandi the matte. Okay. Peroxy monosulfuric acid, caros acid, peroxy disulfuric acid is called as Marshall's acid. Important. Unless you know the don't know the structure, you cannot write the oxidation number when name is given. Clear Alva? Yes. Extra O for oleum. No. One oxygen you need to remove for oleum. Oleum and reno H2, yes to yes, you're right. Satvik. I came to know now your sentence. Yes, one extra oxygen. If you add to oleum, you'll get Marshall's acid. You are right. So H2, yes to O7 is oleum. Okay. Pyrosulfuric acid. This is pyro. This is peroxy. See the difference. Yes. Moving ahead, oxidation number of sulfur in sodium thiosulfate. Sodium thiosulfate in on the component. Okay. In sodium thiosulfate and there is a special method of bonding it to the coordinate bond form between two sulfur atoms. There exists a coordinate bond. So if it is so, then how to assign the oxidation number? So whenever coordination bond is present, point to be noted down. The atom sulfur atom which donates electron pair of electron donation coordinate coordinate bond on the e sulfur atom receive my detail why are electron the canidra do taking electron is not a good sign that we have seen donation could do all that and tell the donation to go on here the go to me isn't it so yeah sala take it to the positive in the agudilla right negative but and very very through visualize module is there now we got compare model the weather we don't want to get involved in some issues okay but definitely here 
is taking or borrowing electrons from the sulfur atom. So this gets minus two charge and one which donates gets plus two charge. So you do coordination bond in a wish Okay, done. Normally, matthala normal and we go to take a calculate one of the liberty. Sodium, it is two. Then for oxygen, it is minus two into three. Then for sulfur, we don't know, take it as X. Still volume is low. How come it is? I'm screaming here. The other side, all others are coming and okay. Oh, Note, Sanjana, volume button, Salpa, press my node, Sarir both. Because I'm getting here a message from the rest to 150 students uh, audible and tell you, Sarir, to clean and tell you, may check my data. Still, if it persists, then I'm ready to scream. Okay, Akhil, thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, sodium thiosulfate, if you observe, sodium thiosulfate, it's very important. Thank you, Rishan. Okay. Uh, sulfur, sulfur bond you have to observe there. It is a coordinate bond. So minus two for that particular sulfur atom, which takes two electron and plus two is for that sulfur atom, which, which donates. So as of now, if you observe here, sulfur in the middle of the okay, coordinate bond, the sulfur atom in the middle of Minus two number that so yeah, the the baker the me star sulfur atom in the big so then work so x into one sulfur then coordinate one sulfur in the minus two into so total zero money you'll get you'll get plus six x equal to so two sulfur atoms present in sodium thiosulfate will have oxidation number as minus two minus two i'll write this as a hash sulfur atom Okay, so this hash sulfur atom and this is star sulfur atom. So this is for your star sulfur atom. So such a way the question will be asked. the question answer. Yes. Average oxidation number and finding the average oxidation number. How to find average oxidation number? Average hege find out Martira. General method or normal method you adopt here. So sodium in the two, right? Plus one into two. So two it is. Next, sulfur I'll write as a two into x oxygen minus six that is equal to zero. So two x is equal to so four it is, isn't it? So x equal to obviously plus sorry four x all four other only four. So x equal to plus two, isn't it? So easy. Plus two is a average oxidation number. On the change mark only, Makle, other share both the three are both the place. Okay, is advised whenever you write oxidation number, you write with the sign. Okay, just to four on the hill killa, at our two in the very killa, ado either plus two or minus two. Valency has got no sign, but oxidation number has to have sign because it indicates plus other electrons are lost, minus the electrons are gained. Just to two at the four in the birthday. It's not definitely, it is half information. Thank you, thank you very much. Fine. Now, moving ahead. Why I'm telling that because one of our students lost mark because of the sign. First, we see 99 one the chemistry 100 barilla. Okay, oxidation of bardaga correct bardiane, but sign barilla. So, strict evaluation method to actual value strict and the Actual validation manager is Marco Glebeka, the sign very other tapak. I killed this because Namiki Pu Matra, the science and the protection of them are lifelong and then polar way Kalo concept. Okay, otherwise, there is no proof that we have studied science, right? Thank you. So, with that note, let me move on to the next one. What is that? Oxidation number sulfur in sodium tetrathionate. Tetrathionate. Idan now other nodi the way, okay? So uh, sulfur sulfur bond again, star again, oxidation number zero, and other has got plus five. So important. So we already discussed, so I'll be skipping that. Then here comes the one more important concept. With this, I'll wind up anyway. Okay. So equivalent mass of KMnO4. This uh, you're supposed to study in basic concepts of chemistry as well as in the the electrochemistry. Kalthir both nango thila, but nani ke dhan mili ondo kel korte dhan hai. Equivalent mass ek note don thali. Gotun thala. Redox reaction to bandha equivalent mass andre molecular mass divided by change in oxidation number. 
okay number of electrons exchange you can put it in that way as well so uh, first one equivalent mass of kmn4 we'll see in see kmn4 will react or will undergo reaction that is redox reaction both in acidic basic medium of course in neutral medium as well but potassium dichromate acts as oxidizing agent only in only in acidic medium so either a equivalent mass basic mate neutral medium illa yavudu potassium dichromate ni yake ant kelidre nimma doubt idre why it is not reacting in basic medium so it is not that it is not reacting it will react but redox agi reaction agudilla alli basic medium alli potassium dichromate niu kaltirabodu d block alli en product varthe basic medium alli potassium chromate it will give cro4 k2cro4 now oxidation number plus 6 here here also plus 6 no redox reaction it will change from one compound to another but it's not the redox reaction which is taking place adha karana you potassium dichromate only acidic medium alli ad act aagta redox reaction age adava reduction matte oxidation agudu but basic medium alli agudilla kmno4 will do this in all the different medium okay so iga potassium dichromate now nodwa sorry potassium permanganate in in yes exactly okay acidic basic and neutral with that we will find so acidic medium acidic medium i am just writing so kmno4 plus 7 upon treatment with acid h plus or acidic medium just writing the main compound okay so what happens it will reduce to mn2 plus sulfuric acid if you take then you will get manganese sulfate so plus 7 to plus 2 therefore this implies that equivalent mass e equal to molecular mass by change in oxidation number is 5 right plus 7 convert into plus 2 so change is change is you can see there right how much plus 5 so i am writing m by 5 what is the molar mass of kmno4 molar mass is 158 divided by Five, so it is thirty-one point six gram. Is that fine? Yes. Next, in basic medium, I'm writing KMnO four. Please remember, KMnO four. Okay. Next, second one, in basic medium. Basic medium. What happens? KMnO four, that is potassium permanganate. in oh minus that is basic medium gets converted into k2 mno4 so this is plus 6 potassium manganate aagutade potassium permanganate iddaddu potassium manganate so plus 7 and plus 6 this implies equivalent mass equal to molar mass okay there is no difference in basic medium thirdly neutral medium neutral medium so what happens in neutral medium kmno4 changes into mno2 in neutral medium i'll take h2o so plus 7 now convert into plus 4 this implies equivalent mass equal to molar mass divided by change is 3 am i right am i right yes good good okay students so i'll complete synopsis and i'll give a break okay for 5 to 10 minutes now this is nothing but 158 divided by 3 so how much it is 3 5s right 3 2s 52 now 2 3 6s 52.6 gram approximately is the equivalent mass good very good fine now last K two Cr two O seven. If you observe K two Cr two O seven, as I said, only in acidic medium. Acidic medium. Can you tell me how does it react? K two Cr two O seven. Okay, in the presence of acid H plus will be converted into Cr three plus chromium three plus ion. Now this is plus six. Two atoms. So into plus six twelve, and here. to balance it you have to take two chromium atom ions so plus 6 so 
plus 12 left hand side is 2 plus 6 into 2 plus 12 right hand side is plus 6 change is 6 so this implies equivalent mass equal to idella kelirva question adike madistha idane molecular mass divided by 6 so this is nothing but nothing but molar mass is 294 k2cr207 add madi nodi potassium indu gottu 39 right chromium 55 agutte next right oxygen 7 into so 16 into 7 you do it you will get as 294 by 6 that is nothing but 6 fours right and 6 nines are 54 49 good chaitra how it is a 6 how K2 Cr207 oxidation number 6 alwa. Sorry, alwa. Illi, e 6 plus 6 here to the atom. Ike is to atoms into no daily K2 Cr2 atom into. So total changes tied to 6 into plus 6 into 2 is plus 12. So illi plus 12 into. Right? Illi balance multi atom and balance multi 2 in the multiply multi. So 2 into plus 3 is tied to plus 6 tied to. Ike net changes tied 6 alwa. Therefore, we have written it. Hope Chaita it is clear to you now. Yes, good. So this is about the this is about the equivalent mass finding out. Will they give M valuation? No, they won't give few times. It might be a uh, more salt more salt is uh, right 300, 394. Other more salt value could there, but could live a kuni expect mad baby. Is there a little input cholest? Ever the K2CR207 with the Cayman for narrow the value input pull. Usually, there may labor to the question. Clear with this? Yes. So, few more left actually kill on the ionic compound like NH4NO3 oxidation state. Hey, if I not modern. Okay, either here you could have then. Uh, average method now question solve model okay then separate I treat model and re nh2 nitrogen atoms to be treated separately one is nh4 plus the other one is no3 minus because they are entirely electronic environment different so you have to treat this equation will be given which one which of the following is correct with respect to oxidation loss of one or more electrons increase in oxidation number gain of one or more is supposed to be over it is written am is missing so please do correct it so it is one or more you are right absolutely right most of you are answering and i'm very happy yes thank you rishan you didn't contact me man you told you asked number no about the material of equilibrium i was waiting your message <laughs> Thank you. It's not a B, it's D. Both A and B are the right choices. Oh, when did you call? You put a message, okay? You put a message. Might be, I might be in class, so I can take your call. Yes. <clears throat> Second one. Which of the following cases shows zero oxidation state of carbon? Zero oxidation uh, in this live class, uh, don't know about it. Okay, I didn't get any information about it. So I'll live class le martin na na YouTube channel martin make it okay. On the very last day, na YouTube channel live korte na niye model paper with interaction. I'll do that. Yes. Now tell me here. Okay, answers are getting very good. B, B. What about next one? Absolutely right, B, because if you find out the oxidation state of carbon, X plus 2 minus 2. So, 0 it is. Here, 6 X plus 12 minus 12, again 0. So, option B is the right choice. I told you, Varshit, uh, today 35 questions we are going to discuss. Okay, done. Next, in Na2S2O3, the two sulfur atoms have oxidation number. Now, come on. These concepts we have discussed. That's what I said. If you do synopsis in a proper, or if you learn synopsis in a proper way, obviously, when we do that, you will learn it in a proper way. Then, oh, these are very simple, these questions. Yes. Option C. Very good. Excellent. Option C. And for that structure to be known, once again, you write the structure. 
Okay, so we have O N E A, isn't it? Structure of sodium thio sulfate it is. So O N E O minus N A plus, and here also you'll get O N E O minus N A plus. What next? Yes, to O three it is right. So double bond O, and here it is a coordinate bond sulfur. So this is the structure of sodium thio sulfate. Very good. Yes, to S bond minus two here for this because it took electron. Now this you take it as X and find it out. You good right? So you are right. It is option C. And the matto minute mark kolon the structure bordi do important. Next here it is. Somebody asked. Rishan, I think, right? Molar mass will be given here. It's given. Yes, if it is given, we are fortunate enough, isn't it? Yes. So molecular mass of K2Cr2O7294 used as oxidizing agent in acidic medium, equivalent weight will be. So illi kutta cancer mar beko matla niyo see tell okay? Asta faster beko ye 49. Akandre adu nama preparation bage matar thode now asta speed alidde. And speed doesn't mean that you have to do wrong. Okay. Uh, once you answer it, then again go through it. Okay, but obviously uh, preparation level is one minute or two minutes, right? J other need to just see it as one minute answer. Yes, next. Which of the following has highest acidic acid strength? I'll come to this once again. So here I expect you to write the reaction K2Cr2O7 changes in acidic medium H plus to Cr3 plus. Then Berkul as a hint. Okay, so two here plus six. So here total change plus six into two here, two into plus three. It is always better. Okay, so you can net change in six in the lacking right plus six. So E is equal to M by six. So 294 by six that is equal to 49. Method direct. Now coming to this, which of the following has the highest acid strength? So find out the central element. Here nitrogen, so plus five. Here chlorine plus seven. Here sulfur plus six. Here phosphorus plus how much? H3PO4 minus eight plus five, isn't it? Ah, you're right. Inai, Sneha, yes. Shibani Goda, good others, good plus seven. Highest oxidation number is the strongest acid accident. Now, so this is it. Next, which of the following acts as oxidizing as well as reducing agent? Most of the questions are direct in this chapter or from this chapter. Okay, oxidizing as well as reducing agent. In concept, anyway, when an element is in its, in its intermediate state, it acts as both oxidizing and reducing. So, a point will work. Okay, hint. Please take down the hint here. When an element is in its intermediate oxidation state, you are right, others. Very good. Very good, Anu. Avani. Sulfur dioxide. Why? Previous slide, Becca. No, dear. Previous slide in the Kelta, there are three to four students. So, this is it. Now, Plus two oxidation state. Really? Oxidation state of sulfur is two. X minus four. So X equal to plus four. Right? Here it is minus two sulfur. Here it is plus six. So minus two is the least oxidation state for sulfur. Plus six is the highest oxidation state. So this is minus least other current either higher oxidation state exists. So this will act as a act as a oxidizing agent. No, reducing agent. Because Higher oxidation state exists for this. So reducing it. This is a oxidizing agent, highest oxidation. So this will act as both. Yes. Good. Next one. Can you repeat the statement? The Kelta there and here is whenever an element is in its highest oxidation state, it is a strongest oxidizing agent. Whenever an element is in its lowest oxidation state, it is a it is a yes, strongest reducing agent. Got it? Further, this I suppose. Third statement under this, under the Moore statement, whenever an element, element is in its intermediate oxidation state, it can act as both oxidizing as well as reducing agent. 
Yes. What is the equivalent weight of this got over? I guess, seventh one. What is the equivalent weight of oxidizing agent? Yes. This is one more type of question we, I mean, I found in the previous year papers. Now, this is very tricky, you see. Simple, but tricky. Equivalent weight of oxidizing agent. Why it is tricky? I told you. You need to identify which one is oxidizing agent first. Then you have to go for a calculation of equivalent weight. Martira, can you tell me which is oxidizing agent? Now find out oxidize, oxidation state for that. Yes, yes, so do you are right. So minus two, here it is plus four. Oxidation state is zero. So minus two to zero is oxidation. Is oxidation, right? Plus four in the zero, reduction. Oxidizing agent. Exactly. Yes, so two is oxidizing agent, right? So I'll write here plus four minus two zero. So this is a oxidizing agent. Now how to calculate equivalent weight? SO2 to sulfur. So plus four to zero. I'm repeating it is it is reduction process, so it is an oxidizing agent. So oxidizing is an equivalent weight. Hey, find out what equivalent weight equal to molecular mass by change in oxidation number. Yes, you're right, Avani. Right, change in oxidation number. So change in oxidation number is four. Molecular molecular mass, molar mass, sulfur 32, oxygen 16 plus 16. Yeah, okay, oxygen atomic mass 16. Aerodo atom into so 64. Right, 64 divided by four, which is 16. So this is it. Nima all India type in exams. Ali kelli ruvanta questions. The previous AMS, APMT, Jip Marantha lettala. Adal bandhi ruvanta. Yes. So two work. One is find out the oxidation state first. Then you go for the calculation. In which of the following does the sulfur atom have the highest oxidation number? Highest oxidation number for sulfur plus four here. Alva idrali. Now I can find out what average node is there. tetraethyl node is there, right? Sodium sulfate sulfur has got plus six oxidation because only one sulfur atom. Only average node is there. Cadmium is oxidation number. Only is average is there, right? So it is option D. One with your right. Others right. Good, good. Shall I proceed? What are the x and y in the reaction? Now, balance part I didn't discuss in synopsis because it is a trial and error method only. You cannot apply your half electron method at the oxidation number method. Use Marcona, you balance Marcodre, then we get minimum 10 minutes, back, 5 to 10 minutes. So that is not preferred in a competitive examination. Word exam, the method Marabe, Illy, trial and error method, Illy option could be X Matavai, I can substitute Madi, Illy Avaga balance act on the node, right? Okay, put x equal to the a three, y equal to five. You see whether charges and atoms are balanced. Here are the balance agwe on the charge in the atom. And there are the balance agit the balance are the electron, right? So x is a three substitute model. So it is six bromine atoms. I took so y give five aqua five plus one six. I took so bromine balance. I the charge nodi six minus charge here. Here five and six charge also go, going to get balanced, right? So option A is the right choice. Charge matte atom balance agwage values and substitute matter right. A agli lo next to B go. That is trial and error method, and that is the best one. Two, one or two minutes you can complete it. Yes. Next in the Daniel cell, the following reaction takes place. Daniel cell reaction we have studied, isn't it? Now which of the following is correct? So Daniel cell and then particular left hand side Leo gear right and lone. Left hand side oxidation anode. So zinc will be in the, at the left hand side, copper will be at the right hand side. So copper right side is the reduction. Copper will be reduced. Is there? No. Zinc will be oxidized. That is there. So option B is the right choice. Yes, right. The oxidation number of four sulfur atoms in sodium tetrathionate as given below. This also, we have written the structure in synopsis, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. So, what is the answer? 
ಅದನ್ನ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಈ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಎಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಟೂ ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ಐಟಮ್ ಜೀರೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ಲಿಂಕೇಜ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ಐಟಮ್ ಗೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕೆಮ್ ಎನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಓ ಟು ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಓ ಟು ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಓ ಟು ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಟು ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಲೋನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದು ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆನೋಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಆನೋಡ್ ಆನೋಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನೋಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಯಾಕೆ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಉಂಟು ಸೊ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಲಿಟಿಕ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಉಂಟು ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಆನೋಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಥೋಡ್ ನ ಸೈನ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಆನೋಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಹೋಪ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚಂದನ್ ಓಕೆ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾವು ಬರ್ದಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ನೀವು ನೋಡಿ ಸಿನಾಪ್ಸಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಲ್ ಉಂಟು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸೊ ಕೆಎಮ್ ಎನ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಉಂಟಂತೆ ತಗೊಳ್ವ ರೈಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಓ ಟು ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಸಾರಿ ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೊ ಕೀಪ್ ಆನ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಓ ಟು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಟು ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ next it is mn2 plus now go on writing the oxidation state plus 7 here this is plus 6 this is plus 4 this is how much 2x minus 6 right so x equal to 3 plus 3 and plus 2 exactly you are right the number of electrons transferred less to 1 7 in the 6 ke bandaga 1 electron then 4 3 electrons then 3 4 electrons then 5 so option c good very good the equivalent mass of kmn of an acidic medium since we dealt this in synopsis part i don't think there is a doubt so it is option d one fifth of its molecular mass because in acidic medium kmno4 changes into mn2 plus plus 7 convert into plus 2 so 5 is the change in oxidation number good yes one minute the gas ozone cannot oxidize so which will not undergo oxidation you tell me yavadannu ozone inda oxidize madlikke agudilla ant kelidu yavadannu agudilla when an element is in its highest oxidation state yes you are right jyotika avani you are giving right right choice avani kmn4 yake because no more higher oxidation state exists for kmn4 is already in plus 7 state idanna matte further oxidize madlikke agudilla therefore c again the answer hint is when an element is in its highest oxidation state further oxidation is not possible that is your answer very good manvit done 15th one what are the oxidation states of two nitrogen atoms in nh4 no3 let us see this one okay so you write these ions nh3 sorry nh4 should have been nh4 ammonium ion and nitrate ion no3 minus you have to take separately ottige calculate madidre average oxidation state aitu separate agi madva yes you are giving right answers many are so it is it is nh4 plus so nitrogen we don't know x ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ನಾನ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆದ ಕಾರಣ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ನಾನ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಅದ್ರ ಡಿ ಕಂಬೈನ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಓವರ್ ಆಲ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಸ್ ನಾವು ಎನ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಮೈನಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯಾಲ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ಗುಡ್ in which of the following does the carbon atom have the lowest oxidation number go on finding see carbon here we have checked already right zero oxidation state methane carbon x hydrogen 4 so x equal to minus 4 right this is x minus 4 equal to 0 am i right 
it looks like nine no change it okay four so minus four x equal to plus four and carbon monoxide x equal to plus two sorry alva so you are right option b good other should the plus two other karana godila alva least get the lowest under you get minus four other one alva so option b next a cr fractional oxidation state example which i have given already fe 0.95 o fe atom has oxidation number you find out fe 0.95 o you write so this is the explanation so 0.95 times x minus minus oxide in this to metal not take a good one me oxidation state is to minus two right so 0.95 x minus two equal to zero now 0.95 x equal to two x equal to 2 divided by 0.95 so this is nothing but 200 divided by 19 am i right am i right yes 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 right sija all right so cancel like the 45 in the right 40 by is it it sorry 19 alla 95 agbekittu i actually simplified and then wrote right so this is 95 so now it is 19 because 5 19 is a 5 40 is a so that's it d b sorry option b next the oxidation state of iron in the brown ring complex important brown ring complex even coordination component comes with an exception case and then the brown ring complex only oxidation state of iron you have to plus one is today i'm going to do iron fe2 plus or fe3 plus state now is a special case where iron has got plus one oxidation state only in brown ring complex c right others right why it is because this no ligand is present in plus one state is a positive ligand nitrozonium right good average and actual oxidation number of iron in fe 304 r average and actual so average in the direct i calculate one model 3x minus 8 equal to 0 x equal to plus 8 by 3 this is your chaitra previous slide is your Akhil, is this fine? Yes. Good. Now, coming to this part here, plus 8, eight by 3, isn't it? So, all the uh, option D is valid. Yes. Next, actual oxidation number, how to calculate it? It is magnetite ore, right? So, FeO and Fe2O3 composition. Ferrous oxide with the ferric oxide is today. So ferrous ox oxide has real value plus two. Ferrical plus three. So plus eight by three, plus two, and plus three. So option C is the right choice. Option C. Plus two, sorry, you do. In on the other way, ferric is the ration. So it is one more. No. Next. Ratio of equal mass of MnO4 minus in acidic base and neutral medium. It is very interesting. <clears throat> around 80 percent students uh, in my previous classes missed this particular question yes b b b she is telling b let us check another do don't give answer in hurry boy okay wait come down and then give the answer mr is also telling it is b check once acidic medium only see we know that in acidic medium basic medium and neutral medium the ratio of equivalent masses m by 5 in acidic medium right then m by 1 in basic medium and m by 3 in a neutral medium so this implies m m m get cancer so 1 by 5 is 2 ratio is 1 by 5 is to 1 is to 1 by 3 now s so lcm you take that 15 right 
ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫೈವ್ ಉಂಟು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ತ್ರೀ ಇಂದ ತ್ರೀ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಯಾವ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ the oxidation number of sulfur atoms in h2so4 h2so5 what is this caro's acid right and h2s2o8 what is this marshall's acid yes which one rishan you have to multiply and get this this one yes sari allo so option a is as i said right one good good 22nd one oxidation number of chromium in cro5 idella direct question da namige synopsis kalta karana anisudu you ondu vela synopsis alli idannu aadade irthidre now you have to learn isn't it so it is plus 6 reason butterfly structure cr double bond o right oxygen oxygen here also oxygen oxygen so peroxide linkage peroxy linkage it is you write that as a hint peroxy okay so minus 1 this is minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 right c very good the reaction so which is a disproportionation okay as you can see plus ಇದ್ರ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಹೇಳಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇದ್ದದ್ದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಸೊ ಸೇಮ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನೇಷನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸಿ ಗುಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಐಎಮ್ ಸಾರಿ what products are expected to, expected from disproportionation reaction of hypochlorous acid what is hypochlorous acid hocl i have collected 35 questions so only 11 remaining okay so tell me now what products are expected from disproportionate reaction of hypochlorous acid hypochlorous acid disproportionates this way to give to give hcl and hclo3 earlier we have seen this in the previous reaction isn't it hclo3 yes now balancing here three oxygen so multiply by three so hydrogen three right one hcl is here so remaining two so this is the balanced equation now uh, option b is the right choice yes so as already discussed minus 1 here am i right here plus 5 minus 1 am i right yes cl minus 1 good so moving ahead towards the next question oxidation states of phosphorus in h four p two o five h four p two o six and h two p two o seven oxo acids of phosphorus p block element once again to be remembered here so oxidation state held both calculate mode both illi calculate mode hege how to calculate the oxidation state option d idu four aitu idu two x aitu illi minus ten equal to zero so two x equal to six x equal to plus three right plus 6 x equal to plus 3 so option d is the right choice very good avani adarsh good good is it okay nisarga yes which of the following sequence is correct with reference to the oxidation number of iodine so increasing and decreasing order of oxidation number to be arranged will you do that yes you are right what will be the answer for this i20 icl this is oxidation number of iodine is asked isn't it so iodine x is chlorine minus 1 equal to 0 so this is plus 1 
ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ವಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಡಿ ರೈಟ್ ಒಮ್ಮೆ ಇದು ಗೊತ್ತಾದ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ನೀವು ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಗೆ ಉಂಟಿದು ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಪರ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಂ ಆಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೇಜರ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಲೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಂ ಆಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ದಿ ಟೂ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸೊ ಬ್ಲೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಬಹುದು ಇದನ್ನ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ತರ ಈ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಬ್ಲೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಂ ಆಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬೇಕು ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಂ ಆಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಂ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಕನ್ ಅರ್ಥಮೆಟಲ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಸಪೋಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಓ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಇದು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಎಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸರಿಯಾ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಮಗೆ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿತ್ತು ನಮಗೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಸ್ ಓ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಓ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಮ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಫಾಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ಈಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಈಸಿ ಉಂಟಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಗುಡ್ ಗುಡ್ ಡ್ಯಾಡ್ ಈಸಿ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ordering of compounds in according to the decreasing order of oxidation state is nitrogen nitrogen no oxidation state increasing order alli bardare ito oxidation number find out maadi immediately yavude ondu option ige nimge gottagutade idu plus 5 here minus 2 iddage plus 2 aitu right nitric oxide and here it is we have found out plus 4 minus 1 so minus 3 and this is 0 so idana arrange madidre ito ondu order alli Yes, exactly. B, because here HNO3 plus 5, here plus 2, 0, minus 3. This is a decreasing order. Good. Option B, right. You are right. Good number of students are answering immediately. Very good. In the disproportionation reaction, it's chloric acid, okay? HClO3 is a chloric acid. Per chloric acid and chlorine you are getting. the equivalent mass of the oxidizing agent we have seen one this type of question with related to the sulfur uh, sulfur dioxide alva no nodide one so idu innond ili hclo3 helidire addu oxidation number is to mali hclo3 untu right plus 5 idu plus 7 ili 0 idu ishtu barkoli next your problem is solved yak is solved yes now observe carefully ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ಇದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನಿಮಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾದ್ರೂ ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ಬೋದು ಅಷ್ಟು ಈ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಈಗ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋನ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಯಾವ್ದಾಗಿದೆ ಎಚ್ ಎಲ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಆದದ್ದು ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆದದ್ದು ಬಟ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಯಾವ್ದುಂಟು ಪೇರ್ ಆ ಕಡೆ ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆದದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಆದದ್ದು ಅದ ಕಾರಣದ ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಈಗ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಎಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಮನ್ ವಿತ್ now what do you do here oxidizing agent is hclo3 reducing agent is also hclo3 but the product yavudu antu beke yake namage change in oxidation number find out madli so equivalent mass equal to molecular mass divided by what is the change in oxidation state 5 to 0 so 5 itself
Let me tell you. The reaction P4 for phosphorus is undergoing in the basic medium. Again, I want to remind you that this is this is preparation of phosphine in p-block element. Okay, this reaction. Let me tell you. So, what is this? Look into this phosphorus zero. Now, here it is minus three. Here it is something plus because plus one, plus two, x minus four equal to zero. So x equal to plus one. Phosphorus plus one. So zero is the plus one in the oxidation. Zero is the minus in the reduction. So oxidation reduction. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Synopsis. Okay. H again we will get a disproportionation reaction. Okay. Option C. Are you all? Yes. Again, you know, HPO to minus the node there. Then put the so the higher layer the minus side will get clearly non-do valence sodium bond the plus side will here. So then again minus bad on third day, but basically total number of oxidation node will go. Then let's go to action. Then thirty first. Which of the following is the most powerful oxidizing agent? Ah, question display protection answer one to right. So that talks about the grip on the subject. Good. So HClO4. Reason here it is plus one. Here it is plus three. Here it is plus five. Here it is plus seven. So highest oxidation state, strongest. Good. Acid. Good. Sandana. Right. Which of the following is correct with respect to increasing oxidation number of sulfur atom? So sulfur atom na increasing oxidation number li avdu sari unta unta kele dare. Bardu video me, idu minus 2, this is 2x minus 2 equal to 0, x equal to plus 1, right? So plus 1 sulfur, H2SO, okay, minus 6, and here 2, so plus 4. Here it is plus six undoubtedly. Here also it is plus six. Yes, increasing order very weaker. Right, increasing. So least has to come has to be first. And this cannot be increasing order because same either. Alwa plus eight sadhya because sulfur in the plus maximum plus six in the mgotan. So is the plus eight bardilla? Na na gaheli dhani. Jee aavdi do peroxy or per mono sulfuric acid, caros acid dalva. Is the caros acid. Adra do now peroxy linkage unto. So adra consideration maadve. Kato adan consider maadve. So caros acid. As a result plus six. So equal bardve ka dhar. So option B is the right choice. Okay. So caros acid. Yes. Now when you are giving the right choice. So. Caro is acid. Hope my handwriting is okay now. In entire right, caro is acid. Right. Next. In which of the following the element under study has zero oxidation number? Very interesting. All the elements will have zero oxidation number. Zero oxidation in their elementary state we study. So silver in silver amalgam. Right. Nickel, nickel tetracarbonyl. This is very interesting. All carbonyl compounds, right, of metal have or in that metal will have zero oxidation statement on the statement. So this is also true. Sulfur, it's an elementary state. So D, all of the above. In trithionic acid. In trithionic acid, the oxidation number of sulfur at the center is. So now tetrathionate birth the way, then thiosulfate we have written, right? Okay, Rishan, good. I understood. Okay, I couldn't take as you know. Fine. So now uh, in trithionic acid, the oxidation number of sulfur, the center. So this sulfur atom they are referring to. Exactly zero. Because it's the electronic environment, you can see there. Other two, you can find out no minus two, minus two, minus two, and plus one. Here also plus one, minus two, minus two, minus two. So plus five. The other, see sulfur atom, if at the center, if it is not mentioned, then there are two options C and D as well, right? So both 
ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಬೋತ್ ಎ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ಐಟಮ್ ಕೇಳಿದ ಕಾರಣ ಝೀರೋ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಓಕೆ ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಓಕೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಸೊ ತರ್ಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ನೋಡಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಝೀರೋ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಝೀರೋ ಅಂತ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾವಾಗ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಝೀರೋ ಆಗುದು ವೆನ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಝೀರೋ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಅದು ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕೇಸ್ ಅದು ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು